All right, I'm all dressed up in my Davy Crockett best from the Alamo City, San Antonio, actually just northwest of San Antonio, but close enough, and uh, in honor of Davy Crockett, of course. And I'm standing next to my Franklin Bells that I built uh, from scratch. I was inspired by YouTube, and uh, there's a lot of examples of Franklin Bells on YouTube. They tell you how they work. Uh, they show you how they work, but they always use high voltage power supplies and Van de Graaff generators. Basically, they cheat. I showed one for the first time ever that actually works in a real thunderstorm. And you're asking, why? How did it begin? It all began with a beer can. So my Franklin Bell's experiment all started with a beer can and a charge stick that I charged up. The beer can is empty. It's aluminum, it's called a beer bottle, made by Miller, it's perfect for my experiment. And you can see when I get the charge stick charged up, that it attracts the beer can from several inches away. It's a pretty powerful attraction, and it's easy to move that very light aluminum can around. So next, I took the painted aluminum beer can, bottle can, whatever you want to call it, this light can, and I wanted to remove the paint so it would be electrically conductive. And so I took it with steel wool and acetone and just rubbed the paint off and ended up with this shiny aluminum bottle. And it's electrically conductive so that if it touches an object, it will transfer electrons. So next, I hung that polished aluminum can off a string on a pendulum type deal, took my charge stick to it and to see if I could get some attraction and lo and behold I got great attraction a couple of inches away and you can see it went right to the charge stick. So that's the basis for the Franklin Bells, at least my design and uh, I found out the longer the pendulum the less work it takes to attract the can. The longer the pendulum, the less work. All right, so this light aluminum beer bottle can that's been depainted on a pendulum got me to thinking that I could make Franklin Bells in my backyard and harness the power of a thunderstorm. And the other inspiration is the fact that in the dry air, there is quite a bit of voltage potential. On a normal day like today, it's, you know, pretty clear out, it's fair weather. It's about 30 volts per foot. Well, I'm six foot tall, so that means between my head and my feet at 30 volts per foot, that's 180 volts. That's a lot of potential. And I have a 26 foot pole here, so if you look at the top of that pole, it's almost 800 volts different potential voltage from the bottom of the pole. That's a lot of volts, but it's not enough to get anything to move around. But during a thunderstorm, that voltage field gets compressed and it goes from 30 to 100, maybe several hundred volts per foot. So let's say it's 100 volts per foot and a 26 foot pole. Now you're talking 2600 volts of potential. Well, that's enough to get the beer can to move back and forth on a pendulum. And uh, so that was the premise and it worked. Now I had to build a box and the box is right here. And the reason it's a box is because I had to keep it out of the wind because otherwise it would just be an expensive uh, wind chime. <laughs> and it would not be very pretty either. So an expensive, ugly wind chime was not the desired result. What I wanted was something that would work in a thunderstorm, be protected from the weather and uh, sound its chime so that I could show you. So I'm going to fire up my trusty cannon here and we'll look inside the box. You want to look inside the box? Yeah, of course you do. You gotta, gotta see inside the box. All right, this is the top. This is where the pole is connected to. Top of the pendulum on top of that PVC pipe. There's my pendulum. It's coming out now. I unscrewed the top. There's only two screws holding it on so I can easily take it off. And uh, we'll set it aside here. There you go. We'll put it back together in a minute and screw it down. All right, there we go. We're inside the box. And the first thing you know, notice are two stainless steel bowls. 
And uh, these are just doggy food bowls that I used to feed my dog with. And uh, they're inside the box. They're protected from the elements. There's glass on both sides, glass over there on the left and on the right. And that's so I could look inside the box when the bells are going off and I could see what's going on. And that was kind of an afterthought, but it was a great addition. Now the two bowls are grounded out. This one's connected to ground, and then there's a wire that goes over to this uh, bowl here, and it's connected to ground. So the pendulum swings in between the two bowls when the charges get high enough, and you get that 2600 volts or more, bang, 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 it goes back and forth, and there you got your Franklin Bells. So anyway, that's the premise, and uh, I've already shown you they do work. And I do believe that's the first time ever shown on YouTube live Franklin Bells. I showed them to you yesterday. I have some more video I can show you right now. I'm going to put this back together. And uh, there's one other addition I did want to show you, and that's this. If you notice down here... There's a spotlight on one side, and that spotlight is going through the box, through the windows, the glass, and it projects on that white t-shirt, and you can see the shadow of the uh, bottle in there, and it doesn't show up real well during the day, but you can see it going back and forth, and uh, that's a great visual at night, because I can sit down on the, on the back porch here, and I can see if the bells are going off. I might not be able to hear them, because it's you know, really loud, and there's lots of thunder, and there's rain falling. You know, I can look at it, and I can see it immediately. So I basically gave you all the information you need to make your own Franklin Bells experiment. But a, a word of caution, lightning is extremely powerful. If this thing ever took a direct hit, these flimsy wires wouldn't take the current. They would simply explode. The whole thing, the whole box may explode, and it would try to find a path to ground. I didn't put these things inside my house. I don't want to play with lightning inside my house. Old Ben Franklin, <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, but he had Franklin Bells inside his house, and they would go off a lot. In fact, they went off so many times that his wife started complaining about them because they were always going off. But in any case, they do not recommend them put in your house and don't play with these in the middle of a thunderstorm. When the storm is far away, you can check them out to see if they're working, but uh, <laughs> just be careful. It is lightning. It is powerful. It is deadly. Anyways, that's what's going on here. And in the spirit of Ben Franklin in the 1700s, Davy Crockett in the 1800s from the Alamo City, or pretty close to it, uh, I bid you a fond adieu.